Marketing mindset number one, your marketing budget. You have to have a budget. You, you have to have a budget. Now, uh, I see people in the groups, they're talking about, um, you know, uh, where, where do I go to get customers? And, and really, I mean, especially early on, customers aren't the hardest thing to get. What the hardest thing to get is good cleaners. But being able to scale that system and put your time and energy into building those cleaners and making your customers raving fans is where you guys should be at. You shouldn't be working in Facebook groups and, and doing networking. Your time should be spent in your business, perfecting your process and making your, your customers go wow when they're done clean. And, and if you can do that, you're going to have a better return on your investment when it comes to marketing. But have a marketing budget. This marketing budget is a percentage of revenue, typically seven to eight percent if you're under five million, according to the Small Business Association, and is spent spent on a blend of lead generation and branding all in one. Now, I'm going to go into lead generation and branding, but to give you an idea, so this is a little infographic that we put together, and I'll try to zoom in here for you. Here we go. So here's your annual budget and annual revenue, monthly budget, monthly revenue. If you're doing a hundred thousand in revenue in your cleaning business, which would be, you know, basically um, just starting, you have a seven to eight thousand dollar marketing budget a year. That's five hundred and eighty-three dollars to six hundred and sixty-seven. That's if you go by these guidelines. I, I've I've had startups that you know, spent 20% of revenue because they understood, you know, after the first year, they weren't worried about making a profit. They just wanted to get out there and really start to brand their company and, and bring in customers. And, and that's really up to you. But again, this is a uh, suggestion from the Small Business uh, Administration. 78% of gross revenue is what you need to dedicate to your marketing. That doesn't give you a ton of room for quick growth. But just understand, you'll get there because if you're doing an amazing job cleaning houses, referrals will help you grow alone. I've talked to some cleaning business owners that do a half a million dollars, never market, but they do a wonderful job at cleaning. So the referrals have just really compacted their, their business. But, uh, you know, if you ever want to exit and sell, you got to have a scalable system. And, and that starts with, with marketing and picking the right company as well. I've also had customers who would say, you know what, I got to cut back my budget. I just, you know, I'm just not seeing the return. And, and every time somebody says that to me, it goes back to um, Henry Ford's quote, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops a clock to save time. And that's exactly the truth. Uh, it even remains true in today's digital landscape.